What's up guys, today I'm going to be starting the first video in a series of tutorials for how to create your own Bacchus Mod plugin. We're going to start off with a super simple plugin that will take you to free play once a game ends, and from there on we can use your suggestions to build on top of the plugin we already have. This is my first tutorial, so all feedback is appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe, I would appreciate that a lot as well. Feel free to ping me in my Discord or ask questions in the comments. First thing we're going to want to do is create a new project in Visual Studio. Select a DLL template and then select Next and drop your plugin name into the project name box. I added links below for installing Visual Studio for DLL package creation as well, in case you need that. First thing you want to do with your plugin is set the build type to release, then set the build architecture to x64. I think this is because all plugins need to be 32-bit, I'm not 100% sure. After that, we're going to link the Bacchus Mod software development kit against our project. Right click the project, select properties, then from the left hand menu, select C slash C++, general, then the drop down over additional include directories. From there, you want to open your Bacchus Mod injector, select file, open Bacchus Mod folder, then select Bacchus Mod SDK and open the include directory. Then you grab the folder path from the top panel. That will be the only include directory we need. After that, select the linker from the left-hand menu. We're going to do the same thing for additional library dependencies, except we will select the lib folder from the Bacchus Mod SDK folder. Now that we are building against the Bacchus Mod SDK, we can go ahead and create our first class. This class will act as the main entry point for our plugin when it's loaded into Bacchus Mod. You should give the class the same name as your plugin, then select OK and your class will be automatically added to your project. Inside your .h header file, you will want to add the include path of the Bacchus Mod SDK header files. The path is not absolute because we are telling the compiler where to look for the header files. Next, you add the pragma comment for attributing the plugin SDK library to your project. With your new header file, the first thing we will do is make our plugin a subclass of the type Bacchus Mod plugin. If you don't know what that means, that is fine. We're basically saying we're going to take our new class and act like a Bacchus Mod plugin would. Let's make sure we can build our project at this point. Once we have set up the subclass type, we're going to override two methods from the Bacchus Mod plugin class. These methods are onload and on unload. These methods are the entry and exit points of your plugin when you load it in Bacchus Mod. Once we define these, we can tell the plugin where to start and what events in Rocket League to look out for. Moving over to the .cpp file, we can write the definitions for these overridden methods. After this, you will want to add a Bacchus Mod macro function. This is basically your plugin signature. Um, once again, let's build, verify we're still on track. And after this has finished, um, we're done with all the contracts required to build a Bacchus Mod plugin. So the first method we're going to add that's custom is called load hooks. I'm going to add this method to hopefully help some of you that are new uh, get your feet wet when it comes to creating classes of your own. Instead of jamming all of your startup code in the onload function, we can let readers get a better idea of what it is our code is doing. This might seem like overkill, but in time it's a nice way to keep your code organized and verbose. So we add the declaration in the .h header file and the definition in the .cpp file. With the method written, we can add the call we're going to make to the onload function. 
Another custom method I want you guys to add is a log method. Um, these logs are what show up in the Bacchus mod console in Rocket League. And this call will basically just wrap the Bacchus mod log call that already exists, but it's going to help you streamline all log calls made throughout your plugin and hopefully show you a pattern. You can add things like formatting once in your custom method and only worry about writing the log message once with the custom log call. If it doesn't make sense right now, that's fine. These are good habits to pick up in my opinion and they're going to help you in the future when it comes to writing clean and modular code. The first log we will say, uh, this is my first Bacchus mod plugin and you will see this log show up when the plugin is loaded in Rocket League. Now we're going to add another method named game end event. This is the event that will be called when functions that indicate a game has ended in Rocket League are made. Like I mentioned earlier, when the plugin is loaded, we're going to be adding these event hooks to certain function calls in Rocket League. So this is basically what a function event looks like in Rocket League. And this is how Bacchus Mod provides the ability to act on these events. We're saying when Rocket League executes this function, we want to hook our custom method and have it be triggered at the same time. The custom method being the game end event, uh, which we just created. Here are a few other examples of function events. You can find a list of many of these in the Bacchus Mod Discord. I added a few here so you can see how choosy we are. We only want to use events for specific actions in Rocket League. In our case, we only care about the event that occurs when a game has ended. So we're going to drop the other two methods. Bacchus Mod already has a custom call you can make in the console to hop into free play from anywhere inside Rocket League. So we're going to use this function call along with the Bacchus Mod SDK call for executing console commands inside our game event method. And that's basically it. Let's make sure we can co compile the plugin. Uh, we'll go into the folder that contains our compiled DLL and drop it into the Bacchus Mod plugins folder. Inside Rocket League, we load our plugin by typing plugin load auto training plugin, where auto training plugin would be the name of your plugin. We can see the log message we wrote when the plugin calls on load. This tells us everything went fine. A simple test would be a private match. I'm going to show you guys what happens after the match is concluded. Um, if it works right, we should be placed in a free play almost immediately. So as you can see, we got dropped right into training, free play after this finished. Um, and that's going to be the rest of the tutorial. If you guys want to see something else added or you're not sure about something else that can be included in Bacchus Mod, um, let me know in the comments and we can add it towards the next episode in the series. Thank you guys for watching. Um, all support is appreciated. Peace.